project is the wood truck. So if you remember back a few videos, we got this thing stuck. We got ourselves in a bit of a sticky situation here. Go, go, go. Pretty good. The winch, it's a good winch. It's just a 9,000 pounder and it didn't have enough guts to pull us up out of where we were. So we're going to upgrade it today and put a 13,000 pounder on it. So we haven't even opened this bad boy. This is, we'll see if it's any good. So it's an OPR. Those are some giant stickers they send to it, yeah. We're not so worried about stickers as we are performance. So there's the remote. It seems to be pretty snazzy. Ow, that's dabbed right in my finger. Okay. Well, got two wireless remotes with it. Let's get this thing all mounted up and we'll go give her a a test and see what it'll do. Open road. Right there is the kind of winch. Well, now the trick is getting this bumper out of there. I built, kind of got built in. We'll get it all unhooked and get it out of here and cut this little tab off. I think I got some lights too we're gonna put on the front of here that are gonna make it so you can see where you're going with this old girl. I'll get after it and tear this apart. This is a good winch. This winch is probably gonna find its way onto the Suzuki Samurai of my dad's here shortly. And then he can winch himself out of a bad situation. Cause he, uh, he finds himself in those occasionally. <laughs> We're winning. It's almost wood season. And this one's gonna go haul wood and earn its keep. What are you building there, Greg? Trying to build a monster truck with shock. Someone mounted this winch like crooked as can be. Was it their first day? It's like oh. twisted. Didn't you mount that? Are you kidding me? It was me? I I chronometer was not calibrated this day. I can tell you that looking at it now. That thing's a crooked sucker. We're going to have to fix that. I'm completely not satisfied with that at all. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little more involved than I first thought it was. Got it. See, Got I bit. told you. It did come out. Where? Yeah, this winch plate, whoever designed it, was not good. <laughs> you know you did that? Hey, simmer down. <laughs> Tell everybody. <laughs> now look at that. We pulled on that pretty hard. It buckled this winch plate. Well, yeah, because it's cheesy as can be. How did I ever think that was going to work? <laughs> All right, we'll fix that problem. You can even see the holes are not even aligned. You don't have to point everything out. <laughs> like that. Jeez. I was in a hurry. That's what I'm saying. I was in a hurry. <laughs> we'll fix this the right way. Then we'll carry on from there. We got some stuff. This is a gift for old Landon's truck. These are rock lights going to the fenders. They look pretty cool. That's from Ryan. Ryan hooked you up. He sent you all kinds of stuff. Backup recovery lights, tie down straps. We got some cool stuff in that Ryan sent you. This stuff from all of them. You got hooked up. Thank you. Then this guy hooked you up with an alternator for your truck. Now fuel injected, more, more power. Well, that was Adam Roberts. See that? What are you telling? Thank you. But we're back to this. I gotta get the plasma cutter out and start doing some chopping. Get that all cut out of there. Put a good quarter inch plate on there. I don't know why, but probably because that's what I had at the time when I put that winch in. Just like that, everyone's gone in the shop again. I got my plate built. It's right there. This is all cut and ground. This is gonna set something like so I'm gonna have to make some little connector things that connect it up to there but yeah that's the gist of how she's gonna go so I'll get this all put in and then we'll fit the winch in there and see how that's gonna work I can deal with that I wonder if this will fit it doesn't want to fit I don't know what to do here this needs to be higher all right so i figured it out i'm going back with what i had i'm going to mount the box up here because it's not going to fit i don't want to rechange everything so i'm going to weld that thing on right there and i'll build something up here for the fair leap to come into and we'll have ourselves a winch mounted is it the proper way to do it no i should probably spend some time it's the wood truck it's going to get mounted it's going to be secure it's never coming off and we'll go put this sucker to the to the test and
fixed it. All right, we're getting closer. Winch is mounted. Got the fair lead tabs mounted. Now I got to put these back on right here so that we can mount that box. So I'll do that, but I got to cover the winch cable up so it doesn't get all burnt and then we'll be fixed. We got our Kevlar blanket in there so we don't melt any holes where we don't want stuff to be. We'll weld these suckers on there. Life will be good. Voila, we're about ready for a test. We're just putting the finishing touches on this thing, getting all the wires on it, and then it should function. We'll find out. And in theory, we should be able to put the battery cable on, turn the winch on, and make it make noise. There's that, winch is built. We're good to go. Oh, we're gonna head out give this winch a little bit of a workout see what it, how hard it pulls see what she does and we'll uh we'll let you know what we think out of here want to ice cross the river yeah Stuck. All right. We're yeah. sufficiently stuck. We can test the winch out. Let's go look at the other side's buried. The other side buried? Yeah. <laughs> well, we got us a half a load of wood from that tree. Yep. Yep, you're good. This will give it a real test because it's on an angle. It pulls hard. We're lifting the side of the truck up. I'll lean forward. Look at that. We are off the ground. <laughs> about to break. There she goes. I got it. How was the winch? So the winch is pretty good. As you can see, had no trouble tugging this truck. It tipped it right up on its side. We had to reposition or it was gonna tip us over. So I think it's gonna pull this truck around good. Seems to be a good winch. The remote worked flawlessly. I mean, wirelessly. It, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Oh, we tested the winch out. We didn't really need to go where we went, but we knew we could get stuck there. Yeah. So we tested it. It pulls hard, good. So thanks for watching. We want to thank Skillshare so much for sponsoring this video. That's right. Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of classes to choose from. I had heard about Skillshare before, so I was super excited when they contacted us and wanted to sponsor us. It's curated specifically for learning. They are always launching premium classes. Whether you're a novice or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes. 
As some of you may already know, I have edited most of the videos on our channel. I've been looking into a new editing software program. Premiere Pro has always been in the back of my mind, but I have no idea how to use it. So thankfully Skillshare has a class on that. Learn Premiere Pro and edit a how-to video for beginners from Halise Narvez. That course helped me out a ton. She made it fun and easy to navigate. I really enjoyed it. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. So you can connect with people just like you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today.